guys, welcome back. It's Akalis, and welcome back to one of the second last videos of Seven Days of Deck Reviews. Tomorrow has got a very nice review, and I can't wait to do that. It has been awesome, and I'm definitely thinking of doing 30 Days of Deck Reviews a whole month just to trial it out because I know it sounds crazy, but when I've done these Seven Days of Deck Reviews, I've had such a jump in subscribers, and I'm so close to 40k, it's incredible. Now, I want to apologise first off, this is the Bicycle um, White, uh, White Rabbit Limited playing cards, but I want to say that I don't know much about Alice in Wonderland, so if I don't know the characters, please don't have a go. It's just not a movie or something I've been interested in, and I do apologise. I'm more into like the horrors, like Saw, or the new one, if you haven't seen it, uh, Don't Breathe. That is an awesome film. But this deck was actually um, came out by Albino Dragon. It's inspired by the works of Lewis Carroll, um, and it's USPCC and it's a limited run. So when obviously it's when it's gone, it's gone. And obviously it was on Kickstarter, and it needed seven uh, seven hundred and fifty dollars, seven thousand five hundred dollars. But it hit a whopping thirty eight plus thousand dollars. Okay, the exact number if you want to know is thirty eight thousand four hundred and seventy dollars. It got. And it's Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Alice in Wonderland. Theme. Okay, so with the tuck case, you can see it features this really intricate design. This whole deck has got so much detail going through this, and that's why I love this deck. So first off, you can see it has bicycle on the front there, and it goes, "We're all mad here." That's probably true. I probably am mad. And it goes the white rabbit, and then you have the ace of spades with the rabbit there, and it just looks absolutely awesome. You guys can take a second to look at that. Just look at the colouring they've used, all the different shades of blue. It does continue to the side, and it has magic finish made in USA with a clock, or like a little pocket watch. On the other side as well, you can see it has manufactured by United Playing Card Company. Then it has a barcode and some copyright information for Albino Dragon. On the top, it has Poker Size Albino Dragon. And then you can see it has, it shows the back design there, but we'll get more into that when we get into the deck. It comes with a seal, and you can see there is actually a white version of this well. These are the limited. Um, okay. Then you have the custom seal that has White Rabbit in, like, just says WR, and then this face, which also, if you do the tab, it's there as well. It's basically that face repeated on the seal. And then you have Albino Dragon's logo, and then there you go. How awesome does that look? Okay, so first off we receive We're All Mad here and it's a wrap of a top hat. Now, if you guys would like, if someone would like to comment down below who is who, uh, I can't watch the movie, I haven't got time to watch it and also I just haven't got much interest in Alice in Wonderland, I'm afraid. I know many of you are gonna hate, but I can't help it. It's just not my style of film, I can't help it for some reason. But on the back you can see it just says the white rabbit and um, it tells me who everyone is. I did not realise that. That is something I've just figured out. Okay, so that's going to be good. This is going to, um, yeah. So if you want to know who everyone is, look at this card. There you go. And that tells me who everyone is. So during this, when I'm, I'm going to have the names on the screen of who's who. So there you go. I know who everyone is. I've watched the movie. So, moving on, you get a double backer. This is the back design. Now, the back design features a white border going round, and then also it has the rabbit there and there. It's a mirrored back, meaning if you flip it around, it makes no difference, which is awesome. That's why I love it. And then you can see it has the basically the moon there, and the, like, the artistic design, and then the rabbit. It just looks absolutely awesome. They've really paid a lot of attention. All right, so starting off with the Jokers. Look how awesome they look. The design that they have used is absolutely incredible. I love, he even in the Kickstarter hand drew this and it's just awesome how someone can hand draw that much detail and then get it on a card. It's absolutely amazing the artwork that they have created. It's absolutely stunning. Like there's no way you can beat that. When, it's, when a deck looks that great, it doesn't even look like it's been drawn. Like it just looks incredible that someone's been able to do that. It's absolutely amazing. Let's okay, with the Ace of Spades, you can see it has the custom pips there in the font. It has Bicycle 808, and you can see the rabbit, and then the Ace of Spades there with all the different objects. And it has the United Playing Card Company made in the USA. It has an absolutely awesome feel to it and the awesome look that it has. The different items, the shading, the colouring, they have done an absolutely master job on this. With the spade pips you can see they have this kind of intricate design that goes around the side with the rabbits there, with the custom pips the whole way through, with a bit of red there and you can see the rabbit keeps in his little objects in the corners and this continues the whole way through this deck. 
and that's what I like is this deck is unique it's not just what we're used to it's a very unique and different and basically the idea of it is so awesome and they really really have tried their hardest with this deck and I think that's awesome. Okay so moving on with the spades royalty now the jack of spades is the march hare okay so there you go then the queen of spades is Alice so obviously an Alice in Wonderland, and then the King of Spades is the Mad Hatter. Now, if you guys don't recall, uh, the Mad Hatter in the movie is played by Johnny Depp. Obviously, I'm not a massive fan, but I do know a lot of his films. That one I haven't seen. Comment down below, should I watch this film? I haven't seen it. Should I give two hours of my time, my busy, busy schedule of playing card reviews to watch this movie? Comment down below, or any other movies. Give me some ideas. I'm lonely. No, don't. Just comment down below what you think. So, yeah. Um, we're going to move on to the other royalties first because I feel like these are really quite important, these, the royalty, uh, and I want to basically in... I just want to get everyone across the point of how these royalty look and who they are because the thing is, is yes, they look great, but it's all about the way that they look to me. And this is quite a big aspect. They've all been hand-drawn. They've taken a lot of time, and I'd really like to go over these. So, the same thing for the hearts as well. You can see the royalty, is they just absolutely stunning. The artwork that they've done is crazy. They really have tried the best with this one. The King of Hearts is the King of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is the Queen of Hearts. The Jack of Hearts is the Knave of Hearts. I'm going off this card, which came with the deck. So there you go. I'm guessing in the movie that must be uh, exactly who they are. Then we're going to move on with the clubs. So you can see the clubs are. Oh, wow. Amazing artwork. Okay, now with the clubs. So for the clubs, the king of clubs is the Gyphon, the queen of clubs is the Duchess, and the jack of clubs is Mock Turtle. Okay. And then we move on to the diamond. Okay, so with the diamonds, you have the king of diamonds is Dodo, the queen of diamonds is Laurie, and the jack of diamonds is Frog Footman. My old primary school teacher called him was Mr. Footman, so he was a PE teacher, so probably not the same thing. But let's have a look at the rest of the pips for the deck. Okay, for the hearts, it features the design of the hearts. They have the crown on top and the little kind of images in the corners. And this continues the whole way through for all of the rest of the hearts as well. Now, when you go to the clubs as well, this is the exact same thing. It's The clubs have actually got a top hat, which I think is quite unique to have like a top hat there. And you can see it still continues with the kind of same idea, the custom kind of scroll work lines around the outside to create this border. And it just goes the whole way through with this intricate design and then the custom ace of clubs there with a massive top hat now you get four custom aces so you even get a custom diamond there it is so you get a custom diamond as well and this continues and you can see you've got kind of the shape inside there and this continues for the diamonds pips as well so all around that is the deck that is the white rabbit limited edition playing cards now obviously when this is gone, it's gone. I'm gonna give you a link in the description to where I picked this deck up. But enough about what this deck looks like. Yes, it looks good and yes, I have no idea about this movie apart from Johnny Depp. So, let's have a look at the handling. All right, so for the handling of this deck. So this deck actually looks really, really nice. It pops off the pack. It doesn't have the thinnest border in the world, so it doesn't make for the greatest fans, but it still has kind of an idea. You can see a little bit of the design going on there. Absolutely amazing work. I've got to say, I buy a dragon, you've like this, you've knocked this out of the ballpark. For two reasons, the design and the hand illustrations are out of this world. He and the team have tried so hard to make the deck the best deck they can in kind of the best manner and that's what I love about this deck. It's an awesome deck of cards and you can just see they've spent a lot of time on this deck and that's what I like. They've spent time and you can see, you can just see from the handling side, just springs of the deck is a breeze. Even tripling with this deck and this deck hasn't got a lot of ink so it means it's not going to chip a lot which is great as well. Now, all round, this is a deck I'd say a must, I would say. If you guys are kind of collectors that are interested in more of the design of the 
artwork, this is one for you. If you guys are looking for magic, this is probably one for a kid's party. I wouldn't say this is the best one just to use yeah, like on a performance at a wedding. But all around, this is an awesome deck of cards. I really recommend this deck. Absolutely stunning. It just looks so cool. I don't know why, but I just really like this deck. Absolutely awesome deck of cards. Just look at that. I recommend picking this deck up. If you have the chance, pick this deck up or you'd be joking. So there you go, that was my review. If you guys enjoyed it, comment down below. This was an absolutely awesome deck to review and I will look forward to reviewing more decks by Albino Dragon. They've got some awesome stuff. So that was my review guys. If you guys liked it, then comment down below what you thought of this deck. Shall I watch the Alice in Wonderland movie? Let me know, I'm unsure if I should, but if I should, I will. Let me know, comment down below. That was my review guys, if you guys enjoyed it, comment down below, give the video a like, I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you to comment down below, but just do it. Subscribe, previous videos there, subscribe's up there, and maybe if you're watching this in about 10 years time when YouTube's moved, subscribe is actually on your lap. I don't know, no one will know what's happening in 10 years time. This video's gone weird, that's my review guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to go this way because there's a wall. So yeah, goodbye. And that is a light switch.